Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, welcome back to What The Math, and this is part 5 of us creating this amazing space game that we're going to be creating using nothing but stencil and our awesome coding skills and the assets that we all kind of get for free or possibly make ourselves using various applications. So in this particular video we're going to teach our spacecraft, which I didn't really give a name yet, but I guess we can call it an Anton craft because it has a little A on it. We're going to teach Anton Craft to actually shoot bullets. It's going to start shooting bullets because we're going to also add enemies in the future. But before we add enemies, we need to learn how to shoot. And to do this, there are so many different ways, but I'm going to show you the easiest. Or, or at least I think it's the easiest. Um, if you know any other ways, uh, if you actually have done this in some other way, please post it in the comments below. But for now, I'm, going, I'm just going to show you how to do this the easiest possible way. So first of all, you need to think of bullets as actual actors. So let's actually do this. We're going to create a new actor called Bullet. Now, if you want to use lasers, that's fine. Lasers are also cool, but they're a little bit more complicated because usually lasers are kind of like lines. So in other words, they actually have to change directions depending on where you shoot them from. We're just going to use a circular bullet just for now because it's a little bit simpler. We're going to use Stencil Forge because it's probably the fastest way we can find something called Bullet. If you look up bullets under actor types, you'll actually find that there's quite a lot of different choices for you. There's unfortunately only one laser I found, and I would like to use this in one of the future videos, but for now we're going to ignore this once again because it's not a circular shape. We're going to use a bullet that kind of looks like a laser. So we, let's just pick something that looks uh, beautiful. And I think none of them look beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, but none of them do. Uh, let's just pick something like this. This looks pretty fine, right? Or this. No, this is better. This is going to be our enemy bullet. This is going to be our player bullet. Uh, this is actually, um, it's a very, very common asset that's used in many different um, projects. So we're just going to use that as well. All right, so our bu bullet is going to be a blue kind of a, a, a sphere or an orb of energy that's going to, oh, look at that. It even has animations. That's awesome. It's going to be animated uh, bullet that's going to be shot from our craft. If you edit this directly from Stencil Forge, it's actually automatically created for you as a player bullet. But if it's not, if it, if it actually wasn't created, what you do is this. You go into, uh, into this, into your bullet that you created, and then you add the frames and the pictures in the same way that you did before. If you actually want to do it from this particular bullet, you can kind of just um, copy these frames, pressing this button right here, and then you can basically paste them into here. So paste the frame like just like that right here by, I guess, taking them individually. That's obviously the longer way of doing this. Uh, but since usually Stencil Forge does it automatically, you don't really have to worry about this. So we can now close this. And basically, we now have a visual representation of our bullet. I'm actually just going to erase this and keep the player bullet in there. So here is our actor that's called Bullet. And here's our spacecraft. Technically, you can also check if this is all working and, and if it's all added by going into your scene, clicking on main and checking if your actors are here. And look at that. They are all available. You can actually add them individually. All right. So we're not going to be doing it this way. Instead, we're going to do this the smart way. So let's think about how our bullets are going to work. What exactly is happening when we're firing our weapon? Well, first of all, our spacecraft um, obviously is firing some sort of a laser gun, and every time it fires, and here you just have to kind of visualize this in your head, uh, basically, let's just say I'm shooting at this planet right here. I go pew pew pew. Every time I fire, there should be a laser coming out of my spaceship, moving toward the planet, and then basically colliding with it and possibly and possibly doing some damage. So that's, that's the basics. Um, how do we do that? Well, it's actually a lot simpler than you think, but at the same time, a little bit more complex than you think. What we need to do is this. We need to, every time we press a button, let's just say spacebar, which is going to be our fire button. Every time we press it, we need to create a new actor where we're located, maybe a little bit in front of us, and then make that actor move toward the direction that where we're pointing. So essentially, if I'm pointing left, the laser should be moving left. If I'm pointing downwards, the laser should be moving downwards. If I'm pointing right, rightwards, and so on. Uh, so, how do we do this? Well, it's actually quite simple. We're going to go back into our spacecraft, which is our main actor, and we're going to go back into our, event, uh, our events, and we're going to add a new event. And this time it's going to be a keyboard event. So we're going to say, or I guess you can make it a mouse event if you want to shoot with your mouse, but I want to shoot with my keyboard. So we're going to say this. When, choose control, 
action one or action two is pressed. We're going to say action one. If you're not sure what this is, there's actually a way to find out. If you go into settings right here, and then right here in, under controls, it will actually tell you what each of the buttons is. And you can obviously add new buttons or customize what you have right now. But to, uh, right now it's telling me, okay, your action two is X, your action one is Z. So it's not even a space bar, it's actually Z. If I want to make this a space bar, I can basically just press space bar, but let's just keep it a Z then. You know what? Let's keep it a Z. When action one, when Z is pressed, uh, so when action one is pressed, what's going to happen? We need to create an actor. We're going to go into actors here, or I guess you can just type create. If you type create, you'll see that there is actually a thingy called create actor type at X zero Y zero. So let's do that. Let's actually create an actor type and uh, you can actually choose the actor type right here by clicking on it and it's telling you to choose an actor type and I'm going to choose the bullet. So we're going to create a bullet. Where? Where are we going to create it? Well, when you think about it, it's super, super simple, right? We're creating it where we are right now. So at X, X of actor and Y of actor. In this case, it's actually the actor itself. So at X of self, and Y of self. Self here refers to the um, the actual actor you're editing, which is spacecraft. So we're basically creating the bullet at the X coordinates of our our spacecraft and the I should change this the Y coordinates of the actor. There's some other choices here like X center, Y center. We don't really need this for now um, because we're just looking at the X value and the Y value of the actor. If you actually want a specific X and Y value, and if you want to create an actor at a specific value, uh, and you want to find out that value, the way to do this is to go into your scene, open your actual level, and move your mouse around. And right here on the bottom, it's actually telling you the X and Y value. So right now, my actor is at 287X, 237Y. This planet is at 515X. 43y so that's how you find out the coordinates uh but we don't really need them right now anyway so this is what this is going to do is go, it's going to create the bullet but we want this bullet to move as well we don't want it to just sit there we want it to move so we're going to create the bullet and then and we're going to set the speed for this bullet and i guess we're just going to go with x speed for now let's set the speed to like 20. set x speed to 20 for right here we have a value called last created actor for last created actor last created actor in this case when you press the button is going to be the bullet so when i actually run the script now when i actually compile my game and if i want to shoot something i now have bullets coming out of my nose and they're always going in the same direction no matter where i'm pointing and the game crashed. <laughs> I think it's because there was a collision with one of the objects. Uh, we'll figure this out later. Crashes are expected. But basically, it's working. It's definitely working. The bullets are moving. They're moving in the direction I assigned. So that's good. But the only problem is that I want the bullets to move depending uh, on direction I'm pointing at, right? So if I'm pointing up, I want the bullets to move up. If I'm pointing left, I want the bullets to move left. So we're going to go back in here and look at how we did this script. And we're going to have a very, very similar script in here. It's going to be slightly different though. So first of all, I'm going to add if and three otherwise ifs because we have four directions. But the if here is going to be as follows. We want to use the current animation, but the thing is you can see that just by the shape that it's not going to fit in here. This only accepts hexagons. Uh, and this hexagon is not exactly what we want because it's just saying is animation plane for actor. We want this to be current animation for actor. It doesn't fit, so what do we do? Well, there's actually another thingy that you can use in Stencil, which is essentially a mathematical function. There's a lot of different arithmetic functions that we will be using, but in this case, the, the really, really simple um, really simple mathematical function that we're looking for is the equal sign, which you can find by just looking for an equal sign. So, if anything is anything, and we're going to add this to four of these, and I'll explain to you what we're doing right now. So what we're telling our game is this. If my current animation for myself equals to up, I want my bullet to fly up. If my current animation is down, I want my bullet to fly down. And so on and so forth. So 
basically what we're telling the game is so if you're pointing in a certain direction if the current animation is playing for a certain direction which is basically based on this right we we're, we're setting animation based on the button that we press then we need to do something specific so in this case if animation is actually wait a second this is going right right if the um, if we're pointing right we're going to create bullet and send it right if we're pointing up we're going to create bullet and send it on the y direction if the uh, ship is pointing up we're going to create a bullet uh, and then send it on the y speed of minus 20. if it's pointing down it's going to do the same thing but this time it's going to be plus 20 and lastly if it's pointing left it's going to create a bullet and send it on the x speed of minus 20. okay so that seems like it should work let's test it so i'm pointing up right now i'm pressing z it's flying up i'm pointing left i'm pressing z it's flying left down going down and right going right excellent perfect so it looks like our pew pew, pew is working and it seems to be going through the planets. We'll figure this out later. It seems to be going through everything, actually. We'll figure this out later. For now, this is exactly what I wanted. There's only one thing missing. I know this is space and nobody can hear you in space when you scream. But I still want my boots to make sound. I want them to... M oh, jeez. It's crashing again. And I think this crash has something to do with me firing too fast. I'll, I think I kind of know what this is all about. But we'll figure this out later. It is It has something to do with collisions. Um, but anyway, so I want my bullets to make a sound. So we're going to add a pew pew sound to them. By going into Stencil Forge again, looking at sounds. And right here, there's something called laser. There's also something called laser sound effect. There's actually quite a lot of different laser sounds. Let's just pick this one because it seems to be the most popular with five star rating uh, we're going to download it and then try it right here and you know what that sounds pretty good it sounds like a laser all right perfect so what do we do next we're going to go back into our spacecraft and essentially right here when it says when action is pressed we're going to make sound and the sound button is right underneath we're going to play a sound which sound well we only have one sound sound of the laser so every time you press the button it's going to play the pew pew sound and there we go excellent now another thing i want to do is i want to basically the lasers to kind of disappear as soon as they got, get off the screen i want them to basically die as soon as they get off the screen because maybe that's one of the reasons why my game is crashing and for that there's actually a block as well if you look under screen there's a block called kill after uh, kill actor after leaving screen but we're not going to add it to self obviously because we don't want to kill ourselves every time our bullet leaves the screen we're just going to close the spacecraft for now and what we're going to do is we're going to go into the bullet actor now so this is under the bullet and under bullet events we're going to add just a basic updating event or you can also possibly take uh, the specific actor event uh, both of them i believe work just fine and we're just going to put this in here so when updating so this is an, an updating event that will always read this until the actor disappears and it says kill self after leaving the screen so essentially what this does now is every time the bullet leaves the screen right now it's disappearing it's basically killed before that they were just staying there they were just stay, uh, sticking around they were still kind of somewhere beyond the screen but now and by the way the game crashed again so it's not that it's definitely not because of that, that it was crashing but anyways but now they are and there you go <laughs> they crashed again uh but now the bullets definitely leave the screen now it says here that it's something to do with collisions and that's actually a very good time that we talked about something called actor types now we have two different actors and we also have something under settings here something that's called uh where is it right here groups actor actor groups um groups of actors are essentially um different classes of um, actors that you have that may or may not interact with one another so for example right now all of my actors uh can collide with tiles and other actors all of my doodads whatever that is don't really have anything all of my players can only interact with tiles but not other actors and and so on and so forth and then tiles can interact with players and actors now i'm going to go into my my spacecraft right here and under properties i'm going to give it uh an actor type but this is going to be our player so we're going to change this to player 
I'm also going to go under bullet and since there is no actual bullet I'm going to go into edit groups and create a new actor type called bullets so now we have this new actor type and let's just define what bullets can do I don't want them to collide with players because I'm going to be shooting out of a player but I want them to collide with my actors which who are going to be enemies and I also want them to collide with tiles which are going to be planets uh, I don't want them to call it with other bullets because that's just going to make a mess. And essentially, this is the laser. Laser bullets uh, shot out of the spacecraft. All right, so now that we have this set, or actually, yeah, I also need to go into players and make sure that I have players colliding with tiles and players colliding with actors, which are going to be our uh, enemies, but not with other players and not with bullets. This is of course if you have a, uh, a multiplayer game which you totally can do in this game but uh, we're not going to worry about this just yet. Bullets are not going to collide with us. Now let's try this again and so now when I actually shoot my laser technically there is going to be a collision. You don't really see it but it doesn't collide with my craft anymore which is I hope why my game is not gonna crash anymore. Okay, this is so loud and annoying. I hope you're not really pissed at me right now. But it's not really colliding. It's not really doing anything when it collides with the planet. But it is really colliding. There's actually a collision event that's happening. We just don't really see it for the following reason. Because we actually haven't defined what collision does to the bullet. So we're going to go back into the bullet events. Bullet events right here. And let's add a collision event. And we're going to add, let's just say this one right here. Any... Uh, any actor collides with member of a group. This is actually what we kind of want. When my actor, which is the bullet, when my self actor, my bullet, collides with actor group. And in this case, let's choose the group. We're just going to say tiles. When my actor collides with a tile, which is in this case a planet or a, um, a space station, or I guess even the enemy, we can also make another one for enemies later on. Um, what's going to happen is this. We're going to, once again, kill self but not this way though we're going to once again kill the actor and it's that simple or you can also just say uh, if you actually want to have a specific definition you can say kill the first actor right here so there you go kill the first actor which is in this case self you don't really have to do this but this is just a, one of the ways you can do this by dragging these boxes so what this does now is every time I hit the planet so every time I hit the planet or anything else for that matter, the bullet is hopefully going to do nothing. And it looks like this was actually our first uh, trouble and it's time for us to troubleshoot. So when I was shooting the bullets, nothing was happening, even though technically they should be colliding with things because I've just defined the um, actor groups and because I actually have an event that tells them to kill themselves when they collide with, it, with that tile or with any any tile, so nothing is happening. So why? Well, the other thing that's possible is that they might have not have any collisions. And that's actually what was happening. I went back to the collisions here and I realized that I didn't really have that. Uh, well, there was a square, but it wasn't really the collision square. I needed to add the circle, add the circle, and then also choose this again as a bullet. So now that I actually have added a circle collision, for some reason the square collision wasn't really registering. If I try this again, we will now have bullets that are shooting and essentially dying as soon as they hit a tile. That of course includes a space station because it's also a tile. So that's essentially how you can make a laser, uh, or I guess a, a functional laser on your spacecraft that essentially works just as it's supposed to and I guess in the next video we're going to talk about enemies we're going to start adding enemies and then possibly use this laser oh no it crashed again okay so I will need to also figure this out if you know what's get, what's happening please post it in the comments but I think I'll I'll probably figure it out soon enough because it's a probably I think it's a mistake of me shooting too fast and two bullets appearing in the same spot and essentially just crashing each other we'll figure this out but anyway so so we have our bullets working as intended and we also have our events registering, our collisions, collisions registering and working just as, as they're intended and everything seems to be working fine. Uh, except for that little bug with the bullets crashing the game, we have everything under control. We'll figure out both the crashing bug 
and also add the enemies that we'll be able to shoot down using this later in the next video. And hopefully you enjoyed this video and will subscribe if you still haven't, like this if you've enjoyed watching it, and share this with your friends who you think might be game creators of the future. I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to shoot down some bad guys. Bye-bye. And game you later.